Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be looking at new proof and more evidence that suggests Arthur Morgan and the rest of the Vanderlyn gang were supposed to have access to the new Austin area, which is currently only accessible in the epilogue when we play as John Marston. So there's a lot of examples that Rockstar themselves have even uploaded that suggest Arthur and the gang we're supposed to be in New Austin. In one of the first gameplay videos, there's a, a scene where Arthur is in the Great Plains in New Austin. He's approaching a stranger. He's got a deer on the back of his horse, and you can see that he ultimately rides his own separate way. That's just one example right there. There's another example of Arthur trying to break a horse in New Austin. You can see him riding and trying to uh, get it under control. Again, these are all examples that can be found in the in-game trailers. There's also another moment where the entirety of the gang, Hosea, Bill, John, Sadie, uh, Charles, they're all riding together in the Great Plains. And that's interesting because that would suggest that that would have to be before certain events take place. I certainly don't want to talk about too many spoilers in this video today, but that's another example right there. There's also another moment from one of the trailers where Arthur can be seen tackling someone literally on the Blackwater dock. So, like, he's straight up in the city where the ferry robbery took place. So, again, that's just another example. And there's also a lot of miscellaneous footage of events and things happening in Blackwater and in New Austin. Whether that's with the Pinkertons or whether that's just showcasing the desert or the town itself. And keep in mind... Those are just examples right there from the actual trailers that Rockstar uploaded before the game officially came out. But anyways, let's talk about that new proof that I just recently came across. Someone posted this on the Red Dead Mystery subreddit, and I can't believe I had never noticed this before. So the chart you're looking at right here is all the item requests that characters can give us, like Abigail, Bill, Charles, Dutch, Hosea, Jack. Javier, Kieran, Lenny, Molly, Pearson, Sadie, Sean, Susan, Tilly, and Uncle, all of them can give us item requests, and some of them are chapter and mission specific. Now for this one, we want to focus on the one for Jack Marston in chapter two. Now for this, we have to complete a Fisher of Men. This is the mission where Jack and Arthur go fishing. And during that, Jack will ask for this. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. So Jack asked for a specific Penny Dreadful comic book, and he specifically said that he left one at the old Blackwater camp. Well, once again, take a look at the five possible locations where you can find this. And remember, you have to complete this in Chapter 2. You can see that these are Chapter 2 specific. Well, the five possible locations are Osmond Grove, which is a nightstand on the shack east of Emerald Ranch, Clausen's Rest, a nightstand in the shack northwest of Valentine, Pleasance on the table of the abandoned uh, schoolhouse, the Downs Ranch, which is east of Wallace Station. Now, what do all four of those have in common? They're all within the area of the map that Arthur can access. But the final one is interesting. Lake Don Julio on a nightstand in the shack southeast of Armadillo. Now, you can find this comic book here, but why would this be listed as a location that Arthur can visit if he was never meant to go to the epilogue New Austin locations? Again, that is incredibly interesting, and that comes straight from the companion guide for RDR2. I even brought mine out earlier this morning to check if it was there, and yeah, it is. This isn't made up. It's not Photoshopped. Like, if you have the uh, companion guide for this game, you'll find that there as well. So even the companion guide believes that Arthur was supposed to go to New Austin and that he was supposed to be in uh, that area at some point in time, which we know is only currently accessible as John Marston in the epilogue. So that's interesting. That is some new proof that he was supposed to go to New Austin, and it's been right in front of our eyes the entire time directly in the strategy guide. 
Now, I'm sure some of you guys are going to be wondering, why is this in the strategy guide? Well, the strategy guide had to be made before the game came out. Rockstar worked with a specific company to get that done, and so they probably gave them information on what was true at the time. And likely a couple of months before the game came out, there was a good chance that Arthur was meant to go to New Austin in some way, shape, or form. Whether that was after Chapter 6 or before Chapter 1 where we saw the gang, you know, before the Blackwater Ferry job and before uh, all the other events transpired. And I think this would be an awesome opportunity for Rockstar to create an amazing DLC where we either get to see the gang before the start of the story, like in Blackwater and even well before that, or maybe even following a brand new character or something like that, but have it more featured in the new Austin, Mexico area. That would be extremely cool. Now that new information right there, what we found in the strategy guide and what we looked at earlier with those screenshots in the trailer correspond to a lot of other information that we get in game. Like, for example, in the mission The New South, if you choose to go on a fishing trip with Dutch and Hosea, they'll actually reveal a good bit of information about the gang before you start, like in Blackwater and beyond. And Hosea starts to talk about New Austin, and it's really interesting. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been, as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. So with that line of dialogue right there, you would kind of assume that at some point in time, the gang would have been together in New Austin and they would have been playable. But of course, that was never the case. Now, probably the biggest proof of Arthur supposed to be in, in New Austin comes from two cutscenes that can actually occur. Arthur recorded dialogue for events that technically he can't complete. The first one of those events is collecting all of the dinosaur bones for Deborah McGinnis. If you use a glitch in order to get to New Austin and find all of them yourself as Arthur, you can actually turn in all the dinosaur bones as him. And it's a little awkward, but he has lines of dialogue for it. Lovely to see you. Here, just as I thought. Totalosaurus West, Elizabethus. The Elizabethan Megasaur. Oh, that's quite a monster. Oh, 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 it'll change everything. It's incredible. Tail. Fins for swimming. Three pairs of legs so we could run extra fast, even in mud. Large tusks for doing tusky type things and long spines that acted as wings they said i was a fool a silly old woman <laughs> i was right all along oh this is the happiest day since well since my sister died but that's another story thank you I will, of course, share the credit. Oh, no, oh, that, that, that's okay. Uh, I like to keep a low profile. Really? Yeah. I must give you something, something valuable. Here, take this. The handle is genuine stegosaurus bone. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> All the best. The same to you, sir. So once again, that would indicate that he was supposed to be in New Austin. And even another event that happens is the legendary fishing trip that John is supposed to go on with Jeremy Gill. That's only meant for John Marston, but Arthur recorded lines of dialogue. And his lines of dialogue are even a little bit different. There you are. Did you bring your camera? Sure, but what are you talking about? Liars! 
damn liars. Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah, but... Good. You'll do then. Uh, what do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Ain't that out in the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. I catch them. Well, you know, some of them. Listen, I know how to catch fish. Ugh. Oh. Come on. Well, I don't want to head out to Rio Bravo. Ah, it'll be an adventure. Come on. I've got quite enough adventures. <sighs> I'll give you something you really love. Mm, okay, then. And if all of that wasn't enough proof for you, if you do manage to get to the desert and New Austin as Arthur, a lot of the points of interest that you can only typically find as John, Arthur can still write them down in his journal. And Rockstar have programmed specific dialogue and writing for finding these points of interest. And Arthur even has specific lines of dialogues for areas of the map in New Austin, like the McFarland Ranch, where he'll comment on how nice the land is, and in Armadillo, where he'll even describe the place as a living hell. Specific places that he'd have to be there in order to talk about. So that's just some more evidence and proof that suggests, yeah, he was supposed to be in New Austin at some point in time. So with all of that information, I think it's safe to say that one of the biggest things that was cut from Red Dead Redemption 2 was Arthur and the rest of the Vanderlyn gang at some point in time being in the New Austin epilogue area. And we just never got to see it. Now, what Rockstar decided to do with that content, we're not sure. It might be cut and lost forever. They might repackage it as some sort of DLC that we see in the future. And in my opinion, that would be absolutely incredible. But this is just more signs, more proof, and more evidence that points to the fact that, yes, this was supposed to be the case. So, as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think the deal was with Arthur and the rest of the gang and him supposed to being in New Austin? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.